Welcome to MSL Talk with Tom Caravella, a podcast specifically designed for MSLs and all things field medical. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast and welcome to a very special 100th episode where I'm going to recap the last two years and 99 episodes, offer some fun facts and some t- statistics. I'm going to take some time to break things out and kind of create a little bit of a directory um, or catalog of episodes. So grab a pen so that you can kind of take notes because there's going to be episodes that you're going to want to listen to or watch after you hear this today. So guys, appreciate you joining me. This is a big milestone and I'm so glad that you could be a part of it. Really exciting day, everyone. Thank you again for joining me on this milestone episode. Before, I have a lot to talk about, but before I really get into it, there are two groups of people that I need to take a second to thank um, first group, first and foremost, I just need to, to specially thank the awesome medical affairs leaders that have joined me as guests on this podcast. Um, there aren't 99 of you. There are quite a few, though, and, and I will mention all of you at some point during this episode. Um, this podcast would not be a success without all of the amazing people that have contributed their knowledge, their expertise, and their opinions. So first and foremost, thank you all um, for joining me on this journey. Second, um, and as important, I want to thank all of our listeners, our loyal listeners. Um, You guys are tremendous. I appreciate every single one of you. We continue to grow. We are the fastest growing podcast in the pharma industry, currently still ranked in the top 2% globally. We have over 150,000 listeners in some 60 countries or something like that. So thank everyone, um, not only for the, the folks that, that listen regularly, but everyone that shares this podcast, that tells their friends about it. That's why it's become so special. And thank you for reaching out to me and letting me know about the success that you've had as a result of it. The people that have got it, gotten their first MSL job, the people that have gotten a promotion or develop their career in some way, or just learned a piece of information. That's why I do it. Um, as you guys know, I, this is something that I do as a way of giving back. Um, I don't make any money off of this. Uh, not yet though. A lot of people are looking to sponsor the podcast. So, <laughs> um, But anyway, it's not about that. It's about you guys. And um, so I just wanted to take a second to say thank you. All right, we're going to jump into it. I have a lot of information to cover. So we're going to start at the beginning. Um, as you guys know, the MS or may know, the MSL Talk podcast was launched in March of 2020. So right smack at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Um, and on its launch date, we actually had three episodes that were released on the same day. It was March 27th. The episodes obviously are pre recorded. Um, but they were all launched on the same day on um, Spotify, Apple, and Stitcher. At that time, we weren't putting video on YouTube. Um, we didn't do that until our 35th episode. It took, it took me a little while to get my act together with that. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel or checked out any of the episodes on YouTube, I invite you to do so. It get, puts a little bit of a different perspective on it because you can kind of see the guests and the interaction. Um, so it's pretty cool. But anyone that's listening in your car or while you're working out, while you're exercising, while you're traveling, because a lot of people are traveling right now, um, br- bring us along with you. I think it's um, it's a great way to kill some time and learn some stuff along the way. Um, so before I get into the meat of it, quick, we're going to do a quiz for all of the loyal and regular listeners. I want to see what your thoughts are. So what do you think the single most downloaded episode of the MSL Talk podcast is thus far? So I'm going to give you the answer at the end. So a little bit of a cliffhanger. You got to wait a little bit to the end, but um, kind of jot it down. What was your favorite episode? What did you think had the most impact? Um, I'm going to give you the answer uh, right when, right before we finish. 
So what were the three episodes that aired on the same day on March 27th? Episode number one, the importance of networking for MSLs with Amy Misnick. Episode number two, MSL onboarding and training with Maria Urso. And episode number three, the top 12 attributes of a great MSL with Vanessa Johnson. I just saw Maria Urso this week. Actually, I, I was with her yesterday. Um, we were at a conference. She's amazing. Um, and actually told me that she still gets people that reach out to her regularly um, about that episode. She also did another episode with us, which we'll talk about later. Um, episode number three, top 12 attributes of a great MSL with Vanessa Johnson, uh, or J I'm sorry, Vanessa Jacobson. Um, this was a really popular episode because I think a lot of people want to know, well, what makes a great MSL? What do I need to know? Whether it's someone who is an experienced MSL or someone who's an aspiring MSL. I'm going to read off her top 12 attributes. I'm not going to go through this much detail in every episode, but I thought that this was significant. Um, number one, specific scientific expertise. Number two, communication skills, purposeful and persuasive communication. Number three, ability to collaborate and partner. That would be with both external stakeholders and internal stakeholders. Number four, credibility. Number five, know your territory better than anyone. Number six, the art of asking questions, knowing what to ask and how to ask it. Uh, number seven, excellent time management skills. Eight, the environment of change and ambiguity. Number nine, preparation. 10, follow-up. 11, high emotional intelligence. And 12, enthusiasm. So a little fun fact. Um, Vanessa and I kind of worked on this together. She came up with a, with a list and she asked my opinion and asked for my help. And we kind of tweaked it a bit. Um, and we had 11 things on the list. And I, we both kind of figured that we either need to be at 10 or we need to be at 12. We didn't want to take anything out. So the enthusiasm, um, that was added at the end because um, I had had somebody that interviewed right before that. And the hiring manager told me, I love that candidate, but they showed no enthusiasm. There was no excitement. There was no passion. And I need people on my team that are going to show me some enthusiasm, that they're going to be passionate, that they're going to have energy. So I just, it, it resonated so much for me. I talked to Vanessa about, she said, absolutely. That's what I want on my team. Let's add that. So we added that after the fact. So just a little fun fact about that. Um, we mentioned high intel, um, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence was episode number four with um, Jessica Freund and episode number 95 with Doug Yao. So very recently, Doug Yao did an episode on emotional intelligence. If you're interested in that topic, watch those two episodes. Um, so episode number seven, 10 tips for a successful interview with Sue Watson. If you guys are interviewing um, or if you plan to interview at some point in time, we have some really good episodes and some great content about interviewing. Um, check out Sue Watson's episode. It's really good. And then there's some others that I'm going to reference real quick. And this is, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. I keep talking about numbers of episode, episode seven, episode four, whatever. Um, Spotify lists the episode per number. Apple doesn't. So um, I think Stitcher lists it by number two, and so does YouTube. So if you listen to the podcast on Apple and you go to try to find the numbers, I don't think they list it. So you might want to just cross-reference the episode with, um, with Spotify just to double check it. Again, if you take notes, you'll kind of see where the episodes fall into place. So some other episodes that you should listen to if you're interviewing, you definitely have got to listen to the episodes with Anita Carvalho. Anita is, she's amazing. She's my buddy. She is uh, a talent acquisition manager. So this is perspective from the HR side. And she had two episodes. One was um, MSL interviews gone wrong. Shocking stories of what not to do live or virtual. Some really, really funny stuff. People comment to me all the time, like, Tom, there's no way those stories are real. And I'm telling you, this, this is some of the stuff that, go, that happens that we go through. Um, number 45, the most common or not, interview questions for MSLs and how to handle them. Fun fact, this episode is the most watched episode on YouTube. 
Um, it's not the answer to the quiz question. It's not the most downloaded episode. But by far, there's thousands of people that have watched that episode on YouTube. I think people just want to know, okay, if I get this question, how do I answer it? And that's what you'll find in that episode. Um, number 11, how to prepare and succeed on a video interview with Laura Wilson. Very relevant topic, might be worth checking out. Episode number, number 94, top interview questions to ask hiring managers with Charlie Cook. This was a recent episode. I actually saw Charlie this week. He's just one of my favorite people. If you guys don't know who Charlie is, check out this, check out anything he does. He's just, he's such a genuine, amazing guy. And I, I've had him on the podcast a couple of times. He is awesome. Um, we've had a couple of COVID episodes. Um, so episode number six and number eight were both COVID episodes. Six was Craig Sims and number eight was uh, Paul Ward. Fun fact, both of these episodes, which are very close to each other in, um, in timing, both had the exact same length as far as the podcast. It was 40 minutes each, which I thought was like really, really interesting. Um, there was another COVID-related episode with J.R. Riscala and Petrina Pellet, two awesome, and they're so good together, like just amazing chemistry between the two of them. Um, and that's called The Many Ways COVID-19 Has Made Medical Affairs and MSLs Better. So it's really interesting. All right, guys, this next category, I think is gonna show the people are gonna be very interested in. There's a lot of aspiring MSLs that listen to the show how to land your first MSL role episodes. There are six episodes that speak to this. So if you're an aspiring MSL, get a pen. You're going to want to listen to these six episodes. Number nine, tips for landing your first MSL role from a guy that just did. And that's Kyle Householder. And he's freaking awesome. He's an awesome, awesome dude. I love this guy. Number 31, how I landed my first MSL role with Julie Chen. And again, similar story on breaking in. As you guys know, Julie is my co-host and partner in the MSL Talk Live series. She's incredibly special. She, this kid's going places. Um, and I love, love, love working with her. I think she is the best. Um, number 40, how to overcome you don't have experience with Mia Barnes. I can't tell you how many people say to me, Tom, how do I overcome the fact that I don't have MSL experience? Mia tells you, like, listen or watch this episode. Mia will definitely tell you. Um, number 55, my goal is to be an MSL with Jeremy McLemore. Jeremy's awesome. He gives some really good insights in this episode. Uh, 56, yay, I'm an MSL, now what? With Julie, Julie Chen. This is, this is um, so you get your first MSL job. And then it's like, what do you expect now that you're an MSL? So this is an interesting take. It's really good for newer MSLs and even aspiring MSLs. Episode number 78, landing my first MSL role from the inside with Amanda Vaughn. So Amanda was working at a pharmaceutical company in a different capacity, and she wound up transitioning to an MSL role. So that's an interesting story you might want to check out. Um, next category, we have a lot of episodes on career transition. Um, and if you're interested in hearing how people went from one place to the next or how they got into industry or how they, um, they progressed in their career through industry, check out some of these episodes. So number 18, from clinician to MSL with Monica Sakotmi. So anybody that has a clinical background might want to listen to that. Episode 16, the transi transition from individual contributor to medical affairs leader with Gina Ferrari. Number 23, an unexpected journey from novice MSL to global medical excellence leader with Tanya Johnson. I have to tell you guys, I don't typically listen to my own podcast. First of all, I don't like the sound of my own voice. Um, but second, I just feel like we put this out there and we keep it authentic and that's what it is. The only time I ever listen to my podcast is for academic purposes, if I just want to pick up a little cues on how I can get better. But I actually went back and listened to this because TJ, as we call her, Tanya Johnson, is just amazing. I literally found myself while I was talking to her, just wanting to take notes because she's so awesome. So I highly recommend listening to that podcast. Number 34, how a non-traditional background can lead to success as an MSL with Rob Rosty. 
Um, number 35, the road less traveled, leveraging an unconventional career path with Mark Bernarducci. Those episodes back to back, very similar stories. Um, just coincidentally, they wound up back to back, but both of them are um, interesting career um, progression stories, but very unconventional. Both guys are friends of mine. They're both awesome dudes. Um, number 48, the path from clinical practice to field medical with Jessica Johnson and Whitney Tice. If you are a nurse practitioner or physician assistant, you're in the nursing field or you're a clinician, you should definitely listen to that because that's who it's for. Um, number 51, from clinical to medical device MSL and beyond with Maria Ubuntu. And if you guys know Maria, she's just amazing. I actually saw her recently and, and she's just someone that she's just got such a huge smile and such a great way about her. Um, I love her. You should definitely check that out. Um, another awesome episode that's very popular, my man, my main guy, Josh Corvo, who's awesome. Episode number 49, the transition from field medical to medical director. Um, interesting story. So that's awesome. Number 99 from MSL to MSL recruiter, a career transition with Sarah Snyder. So Sarah was an MSL for 20 years and she just joined my team as an MSL recruiter. So I recruited her to be an MSL recruiter. And um, this was last week's episode. She is amazing. She's absolutely killing it. So I am very, very lucky, very fortunate to have Sarah on my team. And you guys hear her on this podcast. She's been on a bunch of times. She's amazing. Um, number 91, from pharmacy to MSL, how an RX background can lead to industry. And that's with Cassie James. Cassie is a bright and shining star in this industry. She's been an MSL for a short period of time, already just got promoted. So she's awesome. She'll be back on this podcast. I can guarantee it. Number 88, why clinicians make great MSLs with Dawn O'Reilly. And she's another up and comer. She's awesome. Um, I met Dawn at a conference and she's really super smart and amazing. She's got tremendous personality. Check that out. Um, all right. So very similar kind of category. Um, and this is territory management episodes. If you are an experienced MSL, this is for you. Or if you're a newer MSL or an aspiring MSL and you just want to know what good looks like and how to be successful in your territory, check these out. Number 10, KOL insights and maximizing KOL engagement with Petrina Pellet. And again, Petrina is a buddy of mine. She's awesome. This is a very manageable 22 minute episode. It's very short. Episode 71, insight about insights. So another episode about insights um, and how they can help your MSL career. That's with Joe Lieberman, who's really awesome. Um, number 14, how to leverage KOL relationships to achieve strategic objectives. And that's with Aoife O'Dwyer. Aoife is also known as the MSL consultant. She's overseas. I forget where she lives now, um, Ireland maybe, but um, she's awesome. Number 19, two most critical elements of territory management with Julie Montiel. Julie's at Daichi Sankyo. She's awesome. Number 26, creative ways to gain KO access with Jason DeMuth. Jason's a buddy of mine. He, this, you got to listen to this episode because he talks about how you can use Twitter for gaining KOL access and developing stronger KOL relationships. It's a really interesting perspective um, and it's worth listening to. Number 52, MSL field sanity, field sanity. Meanwhile, I'm hardly able to pronounce. I'm like insane myself. Top 10 tips for field survival with Maria Urso. I, like I said, I can't say enough about Maria. She's just such an amazing, amazing person. And I hope I can have her on my podcast like 10 more times because she's that awesome. Um, saw her this week and had dinner with her. She's just, you have got to listen to that. Number 92, which is kind of a similar episode, five ways to survive and thrive at MSL and Mom Life with Sarah Snyder. So any moms out there that are struggling or not struggling, but juggling um, your life as an MSL and a mom, you should check that out. Number 76, important tips for KOL mapping with Keely Dahl. Guys, I don't know if you've ever known Keely, spoken to her, talked to her, but there's just such an amazing way about this person. Um, I saw her this week as well at a conference and she's just um, she's just so genuine and you have to listen to this because she's awesome. Episode number 70, engagement strategies 
Crafting Your Story to Clinical Professionals with Ryan Norman. Ryan has a really interesting take on this topic. He's really good. Number 27, the future of KOL engagement and new strategies that will emerge with Joan Cannon. Um, so fun fact, Joan Cannon, I was at a conference like 10 years ago, maybe longer, sit down to eat lunch, random seat. There's start a conversation with the person next to me. It's Joan. We hit it off. We've been fast friends and we've been buddies ever since. And she's awesome. Anything she does is awesome. So check that out. Um, next category, field medical excellence. Now, you know what, guys, the, I could tell you that these two categories are very, very similar. There's 10 episodes in both the territory management episodes and the medical episodes, medical excellence episodes. So there's like 20 episodes that I think are really good for, um, for MSLs to listen to. Number 12, the art of leveraging your strengths to be a kick-ass MSL with Kathy Andorfer. Those of you who know me know that I am a huge Kathy Andorfer fan. I love everything she does. She is writing a book with the same title. Um, actually, I just talked to her. Actually, I just saw her yesterday. Um, and she said she's probably going to change the name of the title. The book has not been published yet. She's still looking to get it out there. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But you, anything Kathy Andorfer does, you want to check out because she's amazing. Um, she's one of my favorite people. Um Number 50, repackage what you have for what you want with Cherie Hyder. And um, Cherie is so smart and she has so, there's so many takeaways. Um, so I would definitely check that podcast out. Number 42, three things I wish I knew about being an MSL with Mitch D. Rosario. Guys, I have to take a step back here and just tell you that um, Mitch is someone that has been a part of this podcast in some way, shape or form since I started it. So I have to give him a shout out. I actually told him I was giving him a shout out. He sent me a text this week and said, hey, what's what's in store for episode 100? Um, so I, I gave him a little hint, but I also told him I was going to give him a shout out. He's be, been a friend to me and to this podcast since the beginning, just with ideas and feedback. And I appreciate you um, and your contributions, Mitch. You're a good friend. Uh, and this is an awesome episode, by the way. You got to listen to it. I, I actually quote this all the time, some of the stuff that Mitch shares. Number 59, how to manage up and work successfully with your supervisor from Kathy Quinden. This is an interesting take. A lot of people don't know what this concept of managing up is. So you should really listen to that because it's really important for your career. Number 58, MSL growth within the role and beyond with Danielle Day. Um, you, you really, another episode that I think is a must, Danielle's really smart and she's awesome. And I just love this episode. Um, number 54, from data disseminator to trusted advisor with Chad Fellers. And guys, Chad Fellers, I don't know how to describe this guy. All I could tell you is he's, he's awesome. He is the most genuine guy. I can't even describe his, there's something so special about him that if he said, Tom, I want to be on your podcast once a week, I would say yes. Just saying, I would. Um, so check that out. Uh, episode number 60, metrics, quality versus quantity and how the game has changed with Charlie Cook. This is a really popular episode, popular amongst everyone. MSL leaders comment about this, aspiring MSLs, experienced MSLs, anyone in strategy. This is a really popular episode. So I would absolutely check this out. It's really insightful. Charlie's amazing. Um, number 75, what makes KOLs tick with Deanna Murray? Deanna has been another really, really good friend to this show. She participates in our MSL Talk Live series a lot. And I just, I, I love everything she says because she's so smart. She has such a great um, way about her, but just amazing, amazing insights. Um, I just think the world of her. And I think you guys should listen to anything and everything that she does. Um, number 72, you cannot teach someone to be an MSL. It's Interesting perspective by Kathleen Bailey. Um, so check that out. Number 39, the most difficult parts of being an MSL and how to overcome them with Jonathan Horvath, who's an MSL leader and actually did a great job with that episode. All right, moving right along, guys. We are going to talk a little bit about um, episodes from the HR side of things. Um, so this is like kind of like the human resources equation. To start with, um, I did a solo podcast. It was episode number 13 on how to negotiate a job offer. So it's my perspective, my take 
on what you need to do and how to approach it. It's kind of a strategy piece. Um, it's a very manageable 23 minutes long. It's very short. So check that out. There's a similar episode on all about job offers and what to be aware of with Anthony Greco. Anthony is a talent acquisition manager at BMS. He's a friend. Um, fun fact, Anthony's first job as a recruiter was in my office. Um, he didn't work for me. At one point, I shared office space with another recruitment firm, and he actually has literally his first day as a recruiter, he had to look at my face. <laughs> so um, he's awesome. You should check that out. Episode number 97 is um, comp, how HMR, how HR determines offers. And that's with Chris Kasten. Um, Chris is awesome. This is such a unique perspective on how companies come up with their formulas for developing offers. Um, so check that out. Fun fact, this episode with Chris was the high, had the highest number of first day downloads in the history of the MSL Talk podcast. I think there's a lot of people that want to know the inner workings of how HR determines um, job offers. So um, great job, Chris. Number 41, how to engage and work with MSL recruiters with Dan Hur. So Dan's on my team. He's, he's one of my recruiters. He's been with me for almost nine years. He's a freaking stud. Um, excuse my French. He's awesome. Um, so check that out. It's really good insight um, from Dan. Um, there's lots of content available on career development and advancement. So there's 13 episodes that you might want to check out. Um, and this is not just in the MSO career, much of it is, but a lot of it can pertain to really anyone. Episode 17, the MSO career ladder, what options are available and how to position yourself for advancement with Davida White. Just had dinner with Davida this week. She's just so awesome. She is one of my favorites. I've known her a million years. Um, check that out. Number 28, top 10 tips, improving business etiquette and emotional intelligence to advance your career with Bridget Rasmussen. Bridget's another one of my team members. She basically runs my business. She is the smartest person I think I've ever met. Um, anything she does, she does to the absolute tippity top that you could possibly do it. Number 24, resume writing and editing for MSLs. That's a solo podcast. So I put that out because so many people ask for my advice on what they should do to update, write, and revise their resume. So if you're interested in doing that, check out that episode. Number 33, LinkedIn, why you need it, how to use it with Jill Vanek. Jill's super smart. Jill's got like 17 different degrees. She's like the most educated person I ever met. Um, she talks about LinkedIn. It's a really important episode. Number 29, how MSLs can develop an IDP, an individual development plan with Elaine Nato. And Elaine is like a medical excellence whiz. She is amazing. So check that out. Number 25, career longevity. What behavioral competencies will help you have career longevity and stability with Norwood Harris? Norwood is another friend of this podcast and He's been doing this a long time. He was like the self-proclaimed first MSL, <laughs> so to speak. So he's, um, he's just a genuine guy. Number 53, MSO career progression, titles, comp, levels, promotions, yup, all that. And that's with Bridget Rasmussen. Um, fun fact, we had, um, <laughs> so I had a podcast guest that canceled on me last minute. So I went into Bridget's office and I said, listen, we're doing a podcast today. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah. So basically that episode was based upon an article that I wrote. So I gave Bridget the article. I said, study up on this. I'm going to interview you on this article. I'm going to ask you questions and you can answer it based upon this information. And she crushed it. It's really awesome. You should all listen to it. Um, number 53, MSO career progression title. Oh, I just did that. Sorry. Um, episode number 90, do what others don't. Opportunity in a saturated market. Um, with Kanal Romani, that's another really interesting take. I met Kanal at a conference and he's just such an awesome guy and he, he's so smart. That's a really good episode. Um, number 87, promotability, how to land your next promotion with Bridget Rasmussen. Again, Bridget's my go-to whenever I need somebody to partner with me on an episode. A lot of the content I develop myself or we develop it together. 
Um, that's another one of those episodes. If you're looking to get promoted or advance your career, you have to listen to that one. Um, number 85, MSL certification programs. Hotly debated topic to certify, to cert or not to cert. So this is a solo podcast. I put this out there because so many people are looking for direction on what this is all about. Should they spend the money on a certification? So check that out if you have any questions. Number 81, top 10 skills not always taught by leadership with Jeff Vaughn. This is actually one of my longest episodes, but Jeff, it's because Jeff is awesome. And we had so much to talk about and it just, it seemed like it went for five minutes, but it wound up going for like 45 minutes. But I got to tell you, it's chock full of really good information. Uh, number 64, job search, jumpstart, eight simple steps to get more interviews. And that's a solo podcast. I offer my best advice on what you need to do to get more interviews. So check that out. Number 46, MSL Training, The Path to Learning and Development with Michael Parisi and Marissa Polly. So fun fact, Michael Parisi's one of my best friends, um, happens to be a CEO um, in, the pharma, in a pharma advertising firm, uh, medical communications firm. So he's in the space, had to invite him on. He was awesome. And so was Marissa. We have another category, Medical Affairs Strategy. So this is an interesting one. A lot of leaders... Um, are involved and listen to these episodes from what I've been told. So number 96, the misalignment of clinical development and field medical affairs with Carrie Coretta and Giancarlo Maranzano. We call him GC or they call him GC. I just, I really just met him. I know Carrie for a million years, but I just met GC. Had an opportunity of seeing him at a conference this week and he's, he's amazing. This is a really interesting topic that a lot of people we're excited about. So check that out. Number 84, Mastering the Medical Affairs Professional Role, Inside and Out with Kent Christofferson. So happened to meet Ken this week. Um, as you could see, I just got back from a conference and it just so happens that so many of my guests were there. Um, so it's, it's, um, it's funny that I'm doing this now because I just saw all these guys. Uh, number 83, and how and why MSLs bring value to an organization with Steven, Steven Stein. So fun fact, I'm at a conference back in the fall. I saw Stephen do a presentation. I literally waited for him when he was done. And I was like, we have to do a podcast because you're like, that's brilliant. And I want to do a podcast. And that's how this whole thing developed. So um, true story. Number 79, how to create a great MSL team culture with Chad Fellers. Um, again, told you guys what I think of Chad. So anything he does, you should check out. This is great for leaders that are looking to really improve their team culture. Number 57, keys to success in small startups versus big pharma. Interesting perspective. Um, number 44, how to create high performing MSL teams with Mike Penkithman. Yesterday was Mike's birthday. Mike, happy birthday, buddy. Number 15, how to successfully recruit and hire MSLs virtually with Paula Pearson. Uh, number 22 and 23, field MSL leadership panel Q&A questions. And that was with Vanessa Jacobson, Amy Misnick, and Sue Watson. So that's just that was kind of an interesting take on maybe just doing like a Q, couple Q&A episodes. Number 30, compliance one-on-one, -on -one, most common issues in MSL-related gray areas. And that's with Jessica McGlynn and Melody Davis. Um, They've, there have been a couple episodes on networking. Like I said, episode number one, the very first podcast we ever did was with Amy Mystic, and that was on networking for MSLs. Number 98, how to advance your career through informational interviews with Joelle Martin. Joelle, I got to tell you, man, this, this was such a good episode. Um, she brought this to me and talked about informational interviews. And I'm like, the first question I asked her is like, what's your definition of an informational interview? Because like, I wasn't sure what she meant and she crushed it. And it's such an important topic. It was so well done. Um, number 68, mentorship. Why it is so important for MSLs and aspiring MSLs to have mentors. Um, that's with Prashant Desai. Guys, you may see Prashant. He's out there. He's very well networked. He's, um, he's been in the industry for a while. He's a super guy. Um, diversity discussion. So we've had a couple of podcasts on diversity and inclusion. Episode 36, diversity in medical affairs and the power of networking. So again, kind of another little bit of a twist or spin on networking. That was with Rachel Kennedy, LaShondra Taylor, and Narav Shah. 
Um, that was an awesome, awesome episode. Number 67, how and why MSLs can support diversity in clinical trials. Christina Wright, Brad Atkinson, and Brian Wilson. Check that one out. These just the this the panel, like those five people that I just mentioned were just amazing. So I would check out both episodes. Um, innovation and unique insights. So I have this like unique category because there have been topics that didn't fit into a traditional category. Number 63, this episode is about new social technology to help identify key trends for medical affairs with Alec McCarthy and Tim Bielecki. Guys, I swear to you, I had no idea what these guys are going to talk about. This is a new concept that they introduced that I was like, these guys are so smart that I'm, I was thinking to myself, like, I just hope I can keep up <laughs> and not sound like a total fool during this episode and just at least ask some good questions. Um, you should check that out. It was a really interesting topic. Um, number 89, digital therapeutics, everything you need to know with Maddie McCurry. And I'll tell you, Maddie's another really impressive, bright up and comer. I learned a lot in this episode. I thought it was awesome. Number 77, text, mapping customer journeys in a digital world with Mitch T. Rosario. So this episode is not just about how text is important, but it's also, it's really about how important you, the use of digital tools is. And Mitch is amazing. Anytime he does something, he just really puts his heart into it. Number 47, managed care MSLs, past, present, and future with Todd Wanstrat. Um, anybody that's looking to get information to learn about the payer side should check that out. Um, there have been a lot of episodes about, uh, this is another category, personal improvement, leadership, and, and peak performance. So guys, those that know me know that this is my passion. Um, I, I just recently got certified as a speaker, trainer, and coach. I'm an avid personal development advocate. So I incorporate solo episodes um, that I really think will help folks. So you may see you have seen it in the past. I'm going to talk about the episodes that I've already done, but you're going to see more of it in the future. I'm obsessed with um, personal and professional development and helping others find success. So um, number episode number 32, gratitude and absolute must for career advancement. It's a very manageable 23 minutes long. I released this episode twice. So this is the only podcast, fun fact, only podcast in MSL Talk history that's been re-released, and that's because I put it out the day before Thanksgiving. Um, so check that out. Episode number 74, The High Five Challenge. This is a very short 13-minute episode, um, and it's based on a book by Mel Robbins about the high five habit. Um, it's a feel-good kind of thing, and a lot of people have done it. I, someone just gave me a shout out this, this week about it. So um, it's obviously working. Um, episode number 62, career Q and a, my story and other stuff. So this is an episode where I was interviewed. So Bridget Rasmussen on my team interviewed me and talked to me about my career and how I got to where I am and what my philosophy is and what advice I have for others that are looking to find success in their career. So if you're interested in my story, check that out. Episode number 86, my favorite episode, seriously. This is a solo podcast about intention, how to get what you want and achieve your goals. I am passionate about setting a daily intention strategy. If you want to reach your goals, you have to be intentional about it. And I talk about it in this episode, guys. It's short. It's like 20 or 25 minutes long. I have to tell you, it's life-changing. People, people reach out to me all the time. It's one of the most downloaded episodes that I've done in the, in the past two years. Check it out. Number 93, lead with strengths, develop your weaknesses. That's another recent solo episode. Number 73, MSL people skills, top 10 tips for better engagement. This is a solo podcast. Again, another one of mine. It's based upon an article that I wrote for the MSL Society Journal that I turned into a podcast. Number 38, C1, B1, teach one, how to be a leader in your space with Abby Adenola. Abby is super smart. She's great. I thought this was a great episode. Number 61, the power of podcasts, three surprising ways MSLs can level up by tuning in with Sarah Snyder. If you don't know Sarah, she is a lifelong learner. She reads every book. She listens to podcasts. She runs like 10 miles a day or at least. 
Um, she's just a peak performance monster. Um, so she is, she's amazing in this. Number 69, the art of breaking out of your comfort zone. And this is with Kathy Andorfer. And I told you guys, and I'll say it again, I'm a huge Kathy Andorfer fan. Um, saw her yesterday and just, I, I see her, all I see is this big smile and this tremendous energy. Um, she's awesome. And she talks about how um, it's, how being an introvert doesn't mean you can't be a successful MSL or successful in business. She, she talks about herself as an introvert, but it's kind of hard to believe because she's so personable. Um, so interesting stuff. Episode number 82, why and how MSLs can adapt the mindset of a lifelong learner. Again, that's with Sarah Snyder. So guys, that is my recap. That was a little long. It was about Looks like I'm at the 40 minute mark at about this point. So I am going to wrap it up. I hope that was helpful for you. I don't want to end without giving you the answer to this quiz question. So the quiz question was, what is the single most downloaded MSL talk podcast episode? So if you guessed episode number one, networking for MSLs with Amy Misnick, you would have been correct. Um, our number one, the, the, the first episode that we ever aired has like thousands and thousands of downloads. I don't know if we're up to like 4,000 downloads just for that episode alone. Um, it's, that's because Amy's awesome and she's amazing. But I also think that people are really um, interested in, in the concept of networking. So um, that's, that's all for me. I apologize that this was a little long, but I, I wanted to do something different for you guys. I want to also, once again, thank everyone let you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for the word of mouth and for building this. I am not going to stop. I'm just going to make this, I'm going to keep this going and make it better and better for everyone that listens. Um, and I appreciate your feedback. So anyone that is reaching out on LinkedIn or sending me emails, please keep, keep it up. I want to hear from you and thank you for your reviews and your ratings. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, we're going into a holiday weekend. So happy holidays to all. And I wish you all the best. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for listening to the show. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe so that you don't miss episodes in the future and feel free to leave a rating or a review or a comment. Thanks again. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.